Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future Part 4, the multitasking crystal for more indie point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, in this little underwater area, um, in the Bermuda Triangle. And we're gonna head on further into this place, I guess. I'm not really sure. Oh, there's a manhole there, so I guess we're going down there by the looks of things. Um, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's go into the manhole. There's a tunnel. Um, and also, hopefully I've fixed that OBS setting that glitched last time, so... Um, apologies for that. Ah, okay. So we're here now. We've changed out of the suit. And this looks like the skull that we've got, doesn't it? This sounds pretty heavy. Nothing is happening. Uh, okay, is there anything else here? So there's the skull. Oh, there's some engravings. What does the engravings say? Bone recognition to access the afterlife. Stay there and look at the skull for a few seconds. Okay, so this is going to be definitely the skull that we got from Parzival's tomb, isn't it? So finally, I think we've figured out what we're going to need that for. Um, there we go. Let's try it. <laughs> we've put it on. Nice. So we've accessed the afterlife now. What the hell? Okay. Land of Livings. Wait, is this... Is this meant to be Grim Fandango? Like it's in the... Right, let's open the trunk. What's in the trunk? The battery has run out. We must replace it. We have a battery. Let's put the battery in. Nice. So, I guess we can use this Lotus now. I'm not going to click on it just yet because I want to check what else we've got here. Um, not an awful lot. Oh, there's a lift. Let's use the lift. There is Grim Fandango. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Parzival. I'm ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No, it's not that. It's just your appearance is, well, a little intimidating. Intimidating me? But I'm your friend. My name is Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. Wait has nothing to do with it. How many times is that going to be used? <laughs> Are you ready for your big journey? Yes. The four-year journey of the soul. It's quite a trip. And I'm not going to lie to you, Parzival. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better quality travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead with a luxury ocean cruise? Or if you led a very good life, you may even qualify for the number nine itself. If you've played that game, or seen me play it um, on the channel, you know all about this. That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. So let's take a look at your records. I'm guessing we're going to qualify. <laughs> Hmm, strange. You don't appear on our computer. Wait, please. <gasps> okay, so we can have a look around in here, maybe. Uh, there's the computer. We can't touch that. It's a really weird computer. Okay, I don't know if we can actually do anything to that. I'm sorry, but I am the only one with whom it works. Okay. Um... Can we talk to Manny? No. Man, it feels good to be back in Grim Fandango after all this time, though. Can we give him the death certificate? Your death certificate? Great, I enter your data on the computer. Yes, I knew it. Hmm, well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach. Oh, no. Hmm, yeah, yes. Lotus 3, the ultimate challenge. The sports car is at your disposal. <laughs> Get the key. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I were going. Why not? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. 
Okay, thanks. So I guess we've got the key now for the car. Yeah, we have the Lotus key. Cool. So, um, if you haven't seen my Grim Fandango playthrough, uh, it's actually well worth checking out. It's one of the best point-and-click adventure games there's ever been. It is absolutely incredible. Um, I will leave a little card to that playlist now for you up here at the top of your screen, so you can go and check that out. You will not regret it. It's a really cool game. So, let us use the Lotus key on the Lotus, funnily enough. Oh god, do we have to control it? This is like the Lotus Challenge game, isn't it? I seem to remember this. Is it on the Sega Mega Drive or something? Great, I found a crystal shard. Inside the dashboard of the machine, there was a map that indicates the place where to find it. Uh, okay, did we get... Oh no, we got the, we got the shard. Okay, cool. So, um... I guess that's pretty much all we can do here. We got that crystal shard. So, I actually know where to go for the next crystal shard, and I haven't cheated or anything, but um, you guys were kind enough to tell me that there's a bit of a glitch. Well, not a glitch. There's a problem with this game. If you remember when we got into the DeLorean, as we're going to go and do now, there was a particular place we go to. Uh, the place where we got the battery in the first place that we just put in the Lotus actually. Um, and there was the keypad. We needed a number to get through the keypad in 2008 and I tried various different numbers just through here. This is actually from a, another game. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Darkwing Arama um, put it into the comments on one of the previous episodes. I think it's called like... I can't remember, sorry, I can't remember from the top of my head. Anyway, it turns out that the code for this game, and I've actually verified this after you guys put in comments um, by checking with another YouTuber who I know, um, Ciparos, who's played this game himself. And yeah, it turns out this code is apparently not actually in this game, which I'll get onto that when I sort of do my sum up of the game after we complete it. Um, but yeah, you basically have to have played this other game to know what the code is for this door because it's in that game that you have to put the code in. So I know the code because I've looked it up from that game. It's 4511932. But yeah, bizarrely, you can't find that solution anywhere in this game. Um, so unless you've played this game that we're in now, um, then you have no way of solving that puzzle. So, but there's a wormhole here anyway. Something or someone opened a wormhole. Uh, that is uh, the only thing that I found out about this game, by the way. Oh, okay, we've put the suit on. Where are we now? I love the way he runs. Ooh, there's a path here. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like we can do anything here. Okay, what about this way then? More path. It's a bit like BB-8 there. <laughs> Doesn't it? It looks like BB-8. <laughs> okay, more path. Um, I'm not sure what that is. There's nothing we can interact with. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, what's that? Some sort of silhouette thing. So it doesn't look like we can click on that. Can we go to this city? No, okay. More path, okay. Oh, okay, so there's an alien. An alien stuck with hook rings. They are very resistant. Okay, can we undo those somehow? We do have this. That doesn't seem to work. We do also have this screwdriver. That doesn't seem to work either. Um, key? I mean, that's... Dr. Fred's key, that's probably not going to work, right? No. Can we shoot it? We can. Okay. Bomb. <laughs> I like it. Alien. Alien. Okay. Um, we can talk to him. Nice. It's alright. Thank you. 
Oh, a crystal shard. Fantastic. What the hell? <laughs> okay, he's given us the crystal shard. Can we go... No, we can't go past him. Okay, so we've got ING and SK now. Uh, do we have them all? Do we have all the shards? I don't think we do. I think we're missing one, aren't we, off the top of my head? Uh, let's go through the wormhole then. Or are we missing? I don't know. Are we missing one? I think we potentially are, but we're going to go back anyway. We'll, we'll place these two and then... If we're still missing one, which I'm pretty certain we are, then we'll have to go and figure out where that is, because I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, so, back to 1985. Let's head... Uh, where was it? London, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going to go to London. Let's jump on a plane to London. I do quite like all the different travel methods, though, in this game. I always say that's quite cool. I know there's lots of them, lots of time machines, lots of this and that, but I quite enjoy that. Don't know about you guys, but it gives it a couple of nice different aspects rather than just using one method to travel to about 20 different places. Okay, so to the moon we go. It's kind of annoying you can't fly directly to Stonehenge unless you're sort of already up here. But it's not that big a deal. Um, right, let's go to Stonehenge. E.T. will fly us down there. And then I think we just need one more crystal shard. And then we have all the ones we need, I believe. So let's place these ones on here. No. Huh? Was that... What? Uh, how do I... Why can't I place these on here? SK. So we've got multi. And we've got SK, ING. Yeah, so we need TA. Do we need TA first? Before we can place them? Is that a thing? It doesn't look like we can click on the altar anymore. Maybe we need the other one first? Hmm. So anything we haven't got the other one. Um, okay then, so that's kind of annoying. Can't we definitely can't do anything to those. No, okay, we definitely can't can't place them at this end or anything, can we? No, okay. So sorry. Had an itch. Um I guess we're gonna need Wait, can we... No, okay, we definitely can't do that. So we're going to need to find a way of getting this last crystal. Was there... I'm thinking there's going to be another one in space. I ain't got time for you, I can only tell you this. This is Sonic Screwdriver. It could be useful. To charge or give energy. Let me know when you'll need it. Okay, so we can we can use this sonic screwdriver for something, it turns out. I'm not really sure what. So can we not Oh no, we can use the TARDIS still, okay. Um it's gotta be something to do with 2140, I'm getting uh no, actually it's not, is it? We've been here. We got whatever it was in in there. We got the shard from there, so there's nothing else here. Um, let's go to the past. 1899, let's try there. There was this time machine, wasn't there? Um, hmm. Okay. We've got everything we needed from here, I think. So the only thing I can think of now... So it's definitely not anything to do with there. We can't do anything with that for the time being. Let's go to the moon. We'll head up to the moon. Let's go to Maniac Mansion. Perhaps there's something to do with Maniac Mansion. It's 
That's all I can think of off the top of my head right now. Okay, let's head to the left side. We'll head back down to Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion. Okay. Um, let's head across into the mansion. Um, inside we go. There's nothing else this way, is there? No, definitely not. Okay. We'll head back inside. Um, let's go down. Oh no, we don't want to go that way. We want to go the other way, don't we? Into the grandfather clock. That's where we want to... Oh yeah, we've got to use the key again. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Uh, here we go. Uh, not that one. The wrong key. This key. That's the one I want to use. But oh, we're standing in the way. Can you believe that? <laughs> there we go. That's what we wanted to do. Okay. So, the Chrono John. Let's use the Chrono John. And we will go to... I mean, we've got the one in the past, didn't we? That is for sure. Um, it's going to have to be 802701, isn't it? It's going to have to be something to do with the Dune world, because we didn't really do anything there. Did we actually do anything on the Dune world? I don't think we did. It's got to be up here, hasn't it? Sand. Can we pick up the sand? Can we go to the sand? I don't really get why the sand's here, I'll be honest. We've got to use something on the sand. That doesn't seem to work. What do we use on the sand? Huh. Okay, so we've got this cave. What was the deal with the painting again? A huge worm wolfing a person painted upon the rock. Sounds pretty heavy. Sandworm was a predominant life form on Arrakis, both honoured and feared, vital and deadly. The sandworms were extremely territorial. Sandworms lived beneath the sand, attracted to rhythmic vibrations on the surface. Thus, to see a worm and live to tell about it was extremely rare. Carlo Rambaldi's Mechanical Creatures. Okay, so it's going to have to be something to do with that sand, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if this is even a thing, to be honest with you, but... So it's something to do with vibrations on the sand. Literally the only thing I can think of is to use like this. That doesn't seem to work. The guitar. Is it the guitar? Yes, there we go. I think it's the guitar. So I nearly did this before, didn't I? I just didn't click on the sand. I just played it on the wrong spot, I'm guessing. We're on a serious roll, though, it's got to be said. We've done really well in this episode, which is good, because it's bouncing back from, you know, the problems last time, so... Well, here it comes. <gasps> oh! What the hell? Are we playing Dune? Okay. Um... I don't seem to be able to click anything. Wow, there was a crystal shard inside that monster belly and I got it. Oh, okay, so we didn't have to play Dune. <laughs> we just got the shard, but that gives us our last shard, doesn't it? So let's head back to Earth. We'll get in the Chrono John. The magical Chrono John. Okay, I was expecting to have to play Dune there. I was going to say that's pretty cool, but I guess it makes sense that we didn't play Dune. <laughs> um, seeing as I don't know what the laws would be around that. 
I don't know if that would be allowed. Or whether it would be like classed as ripping off a game. I honestly don't know. Um, right, let's fly back to the moon. Here we go. I love the E.T. theme, it's great, isn't it? Right, let's land at Stonehenge. And we now have, I believe, all of the crystal shards that we need. Does that mean we can make the multitasking crystal <laughs> that the game's all about? I'm thinking probably so, because we've got multi there. And we've got ing, S-K, yes, T-A-S-K-I-N-G. So we have got all of the crystal shards, but unfortunately, <laughs> We are just about out of time, so we're going to have to put all the remaining shards onto the altar in the next episode um, and see what happens. Uh, so yeah, good progress in this one. Good to be back to sort of winning ways as such. And um, yeah, sorry once again for the last episode, the problems that I had with OBS just resizing the resolution for some reason. Um, I don't know why. As I said, I wanted to keep that video as it was rather than re-recording it just so I could keep it a genuine blind series on the channel which is what i like to do um i know the picture was a bit sort of hit and miss but i would rather have it like that and be genuine and not sort of re-recording and pretending to be shocked like a lot of youtubers do um so yeah but that does it for this one so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so i do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time